finishing the line. That's what you do. Well, he hasn't got it. With Andrew, working with Anna, Georgie Scan. The international. I have people rehearsing one side. So we went to the mood. Oh. Two soldiers picking up. It's very cold. <laughs> Well, has that sort of... It's caved on, you're always caved on. You might be surprised. He, um, he's always keen to, um, to... He, um, picks up things really, really quickly. I think he's changed since the aggression. Controlled aggression, like we could... Yeah, I was 12, now I'm 15. And, um, it's a weird thing that has taken up a fifth of my life. It affected, like, who we are in ways, and it's really cool. People have realised that my costume is the same colour as my horse. When I first got done, I think the emotions of melancholy, it is, it is a sense of loss. Because the challenges were bigger, I feel like we personally got there. Fill up the room and then grab. Despite being very um, intricate in itself, but you know, what was so effective about it was you know, almost so simple and so, so powerful in itself. You know, just standing in that room and looking at it all, you know, it looked incredible. And that was one thing that really stuck out for me. It was weird, because sometimes, you know, there's set with... We get done, sorry, pretty much, and play around, and pretend like we're acting, but we're actually getting dumped. <laughs> because this is a very one... <laughs> so what was your favourite part of the movie-making process? Um, blonde camp and um, stunts. Now, why is it that you didn't get to do a lot of physical stuff in the last film? Because I was a pansy, yes, we all get it. What's been your favourite scene to shoot? And Anything with me looking heroic. I don't know if we've shot any of those. Yes, we have, Andrew, yes, we have. What scenes have you got left to shoot? I don't know. What do I have left to shoot? Have you, at any stage during production, read the script? Once in the beginning, when I first got it. <laughs> That's the honest truth. Do you find that not knowing what's actually going to come next helps you to stay in the moment? Yes. Honestly, yes. I, I mean in life. In, oh, in life. Oh. <laughs> not dwelling on the past. Should we break for lunch here? Yes, we should. Sort of fit back in the old sort of familiar um, sort of slots and grooves. And, um, and yeah, like, you know, you're, you're thrown in, into these experiences. You know, we have to be, you know, with these people for so, you know, like all day, every day, for however many months. And, um, and yeah, we just all naturally really sort of got very close. And how did Will sort of fit into the, the group, Blind the Witch in the Wardrobe onwards? Um, what about you? I mean, have you sort of grown with this film? Have you changed any way? Do you look back and think, oh my God, who's that person, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know, I guess, yeah, we, we've all sort of really been growing up, especially in, in our own ways. and. Um, We've, you know, we've seen each other so long that it sort of becomes natural and it's, you know, it's weird for me when I look back now as of the first film, you know, not only when I look at myself, when I look at, you know, when I look at Georgie and say, oh my God, like, <laughs> we're both so small. <laughs> I guess it's, it's just like looking at sort of like old family photos or something, but sort of a higher budget. <laughs> and obviously you've had more. How was mm. that for you? <laughs> <laughs> it was alright. I mean, they only actually moved it during takes, so the majority of the day was done pretty much still. They could so have no had a lot of fun it. with that, though. They could have kind of <laughs> moved it whenever we were walking around, but they didn't, so yeah. it was good. <laughs> Health and safety, I think, yeah. <laughs> so in the way of pranks. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it would have been a very physically demanding shoot because there is a lot of action in it, too. I mean, was there any scenes there that were really challenging? Because I imagine all the saw play and stuff, you know, takes a lot of choreography and that kind of thing. Um, it was a big challenge. We had a really great stunt um, department, you know, led by Alan, Pop Alan Poppleton. He did a really great job. It was more so a sort of go hard or go home. And we all sort of all, you know, he sort of, you know, worked us all up and we um, we always sort of, you know, um, you know eventually, you know, through, um, you know, either being dragged along, we sort of got the results in the end. I wonder the franchise is going to continue um, even without us and we may come and do some small, um, small parts, you know, as, as adults. Um, and we will, uh, we will see, it all just depends on the sort of success or, um, you know, hopefully the success of this film um, for them to determine whether it's financially feasible. I think we'll... Oh hey, that's not fair. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. Ah. Woohoo! Woohoo! Nice job. So one of my friends, oh, you better get me a coffee. It's free. I'm like, no. <laughs> it was incredible. Um, I remember we were driving up to it and um, just seeing it out there. On, um, it's in, in Cleveland Point, you know, which is surrounded by water, so you've got a perfect you know, horizon. 
and just seeing it standing out there, you know, you know, behind everything was just incredible. And um, it was so beautifully made. And um, you know, it's so incredible to think, more, you know, all you know, all the craftsmen who were working on it, and you know, the amount of attention to detail that was spent on this, doing it for so long. After six years, I have to be so thankful for this experience. It's been really, it's really helped me sort of in many aspects, and it's you know, I've really enjoyed it so much, and it's really um, it's sort of built my confidence in ways, um, you know, that I, you know, I'm now sort of more confident than I thought I could have been, and um, it's really sort of given me you know the courage to you know, stand up and and do certain things and to sort of take on t on tasks, um, which has been you know great, and you know you know, I only wish everyone could have had that experience, and I'm so lucky that it's been me that's been given that opportunity.